Today we're going to tie a small fly called a caddis pupa. We're going to start off with a 3769 nymph hook, a Tiemco, and some Vivas 14 aught uh, or even 16 aught uh, thread. I like to use black for this fly. And then we're going to take some fine copper wire in small size. This will be the material used to hold on the the body of the fly. We're just going to take a four or five inch chunk of that and we're going to tie it right in along the side of the fly. Now you can also see here I started my thread about a third of the way back from the eye of the hook. That's just kind of so I can leave space for the head. It's just to visualize it for me so I don't go too far. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some pearl tinsel in medium. I'm using the new Vivas Pearl Tinsel. It's a much cleaner product than some of the other tinsel out there. You can see it has no frayed edges. Makes it a little easier to tie in and work with. Gives you a cleaner look on all your flies as well. And we're just going to tie that in there at the, the butt of the fly. Then I'm going to take my thread forward. Then I'm going to take that tinsel and I'm just going to put one layer of that tinsel Oops, accidentally let go of it there. I'm just going to put one layer over the, uh, the thread. That leaves a little bit of the black thread shining through. That way this fly isn't too bright. It's not blinding flashy. We're just looking for a hint of, hint of flash on the body of this fly. And we can capture that tinsel. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our body material which is some micro velvet chenille. You can tie it in two colors. You can tie it in Poopa Brown or Poopa Olive. Uh, today we're going to be tying the brown version of it. I'm just going to take my chenille here and just hit it with the lighter to kind of taper the end. I'm going to take that and I'm going to just let the butt of that chenille hang over the back of the hook just ever so slightly. Just a little bit. I'm going to tie it in right there behind the tinsel. Then we're going to take our copper wire here and we're going to make our first wrap over the top of that chenille just to help lash it down onto the hook. And then I'm just going to take the wire and segment the body with some nice even wraps. and we can capture it. I like to wrap ever so slightly forward on the head. That'll help taper the body going forward. Then we're going to take our thread right up to the body again. We're going to tie in the antenna for that I'm going to use a mallard flank feather and you can see here I've isolated two little pieces and all I've done is I've cut basically took my scissors and I cut out a little notch in between those two things I just cut out all the material and then just stroked all the the lower pieces kind of out of the way the reason I did that is then I can maintain the curve of the feather see how they curve and they're also even tips and we're going to tie in the antenna so that it hangs way past the basically the body of our uh, butt there and we're going to let it hang over about a half a hook shank some of this is preference you can make them shorter you can make them longer um, it really depends on the type of caddis I guess and just the look you're you're going for so once I get them into place I'm just going to pinch them down nice and tight with my fingers And you can kind of manipulate them and move them around with your hands if you need to. Trim off the excess. 
Now the next thing to do is we're going to tie in the legs or the throat of the fly. For that I'm going to use a small little piece of partridge. I'm just going to take some of that fluffy stuff and peel it back just leaving the tips of the feather. We're going to tie this in also so that the curve goes with the fly. You can see how there's some curve there. I want it to go with the body of the fly. I want it to curve kind of up towards it. Find a little better piece here. I'm looking for a piece with some nice even tips. There we go. I want this to kind of reach back and barely overhang the point of the hook. So I'm just going to take it, gently tie it in, and kind of stroke the fibers back with your fingers to kind of get them to lay where you want them to lay. A lot of steps to this fly. That's where that Vivas 14 or 16 knot thread comes in handy. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll take that partridge and ever so slightly stroke it forward, and I'll get under there with my bobbin and get a wrap of thread in between it and the body. That'll help those legs really stand up. I like my legs to kind of stand away from the body like that. I don't like them to really hug the the body too much. Now the last part we're going to form the head and for that we're just going to take a piece of ostrich. I'm going to use black ostrich. You could also use dark brown. And I'm going to tie it in with the butt ends because the butt ends are going to have thicker barbs than the tip. So I'm going to tie it in by the butt end. I want those barbs to be thicker as I start and then lay back and get nice and small as I go forward. I also want to tie it in. This one's fighting me a little bit so that the barbs lay back, kind of like a hackle. So let's get another piece here. I'll we'll try it again. there actually is a curve to these tiny little feathers. I don't know if you can see it there, but it does curve slightly one way or the other. And I want all those barbs to lay nice and flush back towards the back of the fly. The fish probably don't care, but I think it looks nice as those barbs lay back. And you'll be able to kind of see here as I wrap this, how those barbs are standing straight up and kind of barely swooping back towards the back of the fly. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just push the kind of the first little pieces of ostrich back so that they taper. You can kind of force them back with your fingers just like that. Looks a little better. Pull your antenna up. Pull down your legs. And that is a finished caddis pupa. Good little emerger pattern, especially in the spring when those caddis are popping. Um, it's great just before the hatch starts and those caddis are making their way to the surface uh, film of the water. And that is a finished caddis pupa.